Hi, hi. I'm Michał Bojko. Um, I'm engineer data scientist at uh, Cloudfero, and today I would like to tell you about um, QGIS plugin that we are developing uh, currently. So fast forward, fast forward, and let's work. Um, it's the, oh, okay. Um, uh, so what's the main idea behind uh, our plugin? Uh, we are developing currently WMS and WCS services. So um, we, are tried, we are trying to create also a, a tool for easy access to those services, like uh, so easy visualization and also easy uh, downloading via those services. And the Q, uh, QGIS, G, uh, QGIS plugin is the answer for, uh, for those uh, problems. Like mm, you can just, uh, let's see, you can just define the temporal extent and with one click of a button at uh, WMS layer button, you can add to your QGIS project uh, a new layer. Like uh, for example, here you can see a uh, layer of one week uh, from Sentinel-2 data, and uh, besides only showing data, we're uh, also processing this data on fly. So here you can see th those aren't raw, original uh, images, but th this is a cloudless mosaic. So the pixels that uh, are for clouds are make, made transparent. So just they, they are invisible. And uh, besides only visualization uh, from this uh, function, uh, there's also a downloading uh, function where you just, mm, all you need to do is uh, define uh, time series like in a previous uh, step. Uh, and you also need to define a P box. In, and you're doing this, this just by drawing it uh, on the map. So with those easy steps, you can download original data in uh, the maximum resolution, like 10 meters on 10 meters. And uh, it's downloaded in GeoTIFF format, so you can uh, actually do whatever you want when you download it on your machine. And uh, everything goes like just with this simple UI. And besides, uh, besides those two functions, there are a lot of so small funct functions that will uh, help you um, in presentation or editing, editing uh, data for presentation. Like uh, here is example of how uh, plugin handles uh, get of request of uh, WMS service, where you just do exactly the same uh, same steps like in WCS, where you define a time range and you draw B box, and when you hit finish button. Uh, it copies uh, getmap request into your clipboard, and you can just pass it in uh, in browser, and you will get a PNG uh, image. And uh, those are things that we are have now. But what's next? And we want to uh, add more collections, like Sentinel One. Uh, we want to authenticate users via S3 credential. We want to allow users access uh, to whole archive of Copernicus program, and the most important point, uh, transition to stack, which probably will be a new standard of cataloging uh, sent, uh, satellite data, and in all special temporal data. And thank you.